Hey guys, this week we're going to talk about chapter 27, which is nail tips and wraps. Um, I'm going to go over a couple of the lesson objectives with you guys on what you'll actually be learning. So in addition to your basic manicure table setup, which we talked about in chapter 25, you're going to be able to identify any supplies that are needed for nail tip application and explain their use. <clears throat> you're going to be able to name and describe the three types of nail tips available and describe the importance of correctly fitting the nail tips. You're going to be able to demonstrate the stop, rock, and hold method of applying nail tips, and you guys are actually going to be doing this in class um, this semester as well. We're going to get into obviously manicure and pedicuring the nail tips and wraps, acrylics, and gels. Um, before you guys finish in December. You will be able to explain a few methods of applying nail tips. You will be able to list the types of fabric used in nail wraps and explain the benefits of using each. Describe the main difference between performing the two-week wrap maintenance and the four-week fabric wrap maintenance. And demonstrate how to remove those fabric wraps and what to avoid. Now that we've learned exactly what you guys will be learning throughout this week, let's talk about why I need to know this. Okay, so offering nail extensions and wrap services is going to expand your service offerings and it also enables clients to have a one stop shop experience in your salon. So they can get their nails done, they can get their hair done. You know, they possibly can get their skin done. That's what they mean by one-stop shop. Instead of taking their money and spending it elsewhere, they can get everything done in one place, which that's what most of us shop for is convenience. Learning the proper technique for applying and removing nail tips will help your client keep her natural nails in the best possible health and condition. Okay, so this is going to assist with our natural nail health. Understanding the types and uses of nail wraps is also going to enable you to determine the appropriate wrap for your client's specific needs. And learning how to safely and correctly apply, maintain, and remove nail tips and wraps will ensure your client's happiness and their loyalty. So now we're going to learn all you need to know about nail tips. So what is a nail tip? A nail tip is a plastic, pre-molded, nail-shaped, from a tough polymer made from acrylonitrile nitrile butadine stearine, okay, also known as ABS. So anytime you hear me talk about ABS, I am talking about this ingredient in which the nail polymer is made from, okay. They adhere to the natural nail and add extra length and to serve as support for the nail enhancement product. Tips are combined with an overlay, and you're going to hear that word a lot over the next few chapters. An overlay is a layer of any kind of nail enhancement product that is applied over the natural nail and the tip application for added strength. This could be a gel overlay. It could be an acrylic overlay. We're going to go over several different types. So some of your supplies that you um, are going to need for this are going to include your manicure supplies. I'm not going to go back over those um, because you guys are aware of what they are in your book inside the procedure. It tells you exactly what supplies, materials, products, and equipment that you guys will need. Um, but some of those are your manicure supplies that we have covered. An abrasive board is one of those. That is used to shape the nail. A buffer block is used to buff or get that high shine on that nail. A tip adhesive, that is used to bond the tip to the nail. An adhesive is also a glue. A tip cutter is used to clip the nail tips. Um, it is an implement that is similar to nail clippers, but it is designed for the use of just nail tips. A nail dehydrator, that is a substance that is used to remove surface moisture and any tiny amounts of oil left on the natural nail plate. Okay, so here's a picture of some of those supplies and you guys have the adhesive there for A, G. Um, 
You also have your dehydrator, which is going to be B. Um, C here is going to be your nail tip cutter. Obviously, your buffer is D. E is going to be that file, and F is going to be those tips. Okay. So, there is a variety of nail tips. Many tips have a depression in them. That depression is also known as a well, W-E-L-L. -L. That serves as the point of contact with the nail plate. When using a tip with a well, it is important to rock the tip on in order to not get any air bubbles in the adhesive. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually do this in class. The tip should be placed at a 45 degree angle against the natural free edge and rocked on until the nail is flush against the natural nail. And the position stop is against the edge of the natural free edge. So what is the position stop? This is the point where the free edge of the natural nail meets the tip. It is where the tip is adhe adhered to the nail. Okay. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about nail tip adhesive. That is your bonding agent that is used to secure the nail tip to the natural nail. So that is your glue, also known as nail tip adhesive. Okay. So a nail wrap. This is any method of securing a layer of fabric or paper on and around the nail tip to ensure strength. It is secured on the nail with the nail wrap resin. And I'm going to get into all this in a few minutes. Um, fabric wraps are going to include silk, linen, fiberglass, and paper are just a few that we're going to talk about in this chapter. Um, and you can see here the depressions, the type of wells. You have a wellless, you have a full well, which if you notice down here, it's almost like that half moon shape. And then half of a full is a partial which is a partial well. One that they're not showing here um, is a little bit bigger than a partial. It's also called a half well, um, very popular, which is another name for that partial well nail. <clears throat> Following nail preparation, a nail wrap resin is used to coat and secure fabric wrap wraps to the natural nail and the nail tip. Okay, so cyanoacrylate, these are what wrap resins are made from. This is a specialized acrylic monomer that has excellent adhesion to the natural nail plate and polymerizes in seconds. Okay, so that is what your resin is actually made of. That's your main ingredient. Wrap resin will not easily penetrate fibers. Wrap resin will not penetrate those fibers that are contaminated with oil and those strands become visible in the clear coating. Do not touch the fabric more than you must. Use a six inch by four inch piece of flexible plastic sheet. Again, you have to make sure that that natural nail is prepped. It does not need the oil on it, hence the buffing, and also the dehydrator that is used beforehand. So fabric wraps. Fabric wraps is a nail wrap that is made of silk, linen, or fiberglass. Fabric wraps are the most popular type of nail wrap because of their durability. Fabric wraps are cut to cover the surface of the natural nail and the enhancements. Um, we have these here at the college where you can cut them, and we have them that come already pre-cut as well. So you can see them in both different ways. So let's talk about a silk wrap. These are made from a thin natural material with a tight weave that becomes transparent when the wrap resin is applied. It is very lightweight. It has a smooth appearance when it is applied to the nail. A linen wrap. These are made from a closely woven heavy material. It is much thicker and bulkier than other types of fabric wraps. 
Nail adhesives do not penetrate linen as easily as silk and fiberglass. Fiberglass wraps. They are made from a very thin synthetic mesh with a loose weave. The loose weave makes it easy to allow the wrap resin to penetrate, which also improves adhesion. Paper wraps. These are temporarily made, <clears throat> they're temporary nail wraps that are made of very thin paper. Notice the word temporary there. They are quite simple to use, but they do not have the strength and durability of your fabric wraps. The nail wrap procedure also calls for the use of wrap resin accelerator, known as an activator, which acts as the, dry, as a, the dryer and speeds up the hardening process. So the wrap resin accelerator, along with the resin, is also known as your activator. Again, this is going to speed up that hardening process of the wrap resin or the adhesion overlay, whatever you're using. Wrap Resin Accelerator is a product specifically designed to help any glue or wrap resin dry more quickly. Always follow the manufacturer's directions when using that accelerator. So on the last slide, it showed different supplies. Supplies needed for your application is going to be your resin, your dehydrator, your activator, tweezers to help you get a hold of those different types of wraps, um, tip cutters, tip adhesive or glue, nail tips, block buffer, fiberglass, abrasive file, fabric scissors, you can cut those wraps with, um, plastic sheet, and then you have the lint-free wipes as well. Your lint-free wipes, we have several different types here at the college. We have um, the silken wipes, they are lint-free, they come in 2x2 two two and 4x4. Four we also have some um, nail sheets that are lint free. Our wubbies are very lint free. So we have several different things that we could use for that. So let's talk about maintenance. Okay, so once you install these, you also have to keep them up. Okay, so you have two week maintenance and you have a four week maintenance. So before we talk about that, let's go more in depth with it. Um, so the following information is going to allow you to perform a two-week maintenance and a four-week maintenance service. Maintenance, what does that mean? This is the term used for when nail enhancements need to be serviced after two or more weeks from the initial application of the nail enhancement product. The, <clears throat> there are two goals in this service. One is going to be to fill or backfill. This means you apply the enhancement product onto the new growth of the nail, commonly referred to the fill or the backfill. So just like our hair has new growth, of course our nails grow. And you guys learned this semester where the nails grow from. The cells are created in that matrix and then they start growing from the bottom out. So you guys have new growth on your nails as well. So that's where this feel and backfill or the backfill is going to take place. Then you have to rebalance. Structurally correct the nail to ensure that it has strength, shape, and durability. This is referred to as a rebalance. Okay. So what about a repair? Okay. Small pieces of fabric can be used to strengthen a weak point in the nail or to repair a break in the nail. Okay, The first thing we're going to talk about is a stress strip. A stress strip is fabric cut into 1.8 inch in length and applied to, the, to strengthen a weak point in the natural nail. Repair patch. This is a piece of fabric that is cut to completely cover the crack or the break in nail. So removal. How do I take these off? They are removed by immersing the entire enhancement in a small glass bowl filled with acetone. Wait for the nail wrap to melt away and then gently and carefully slide the softened wrap material away from the nail with a wooden pusher. So 
So let's review. Nail tips are a great way for clients to wear long and glamorous looking nails. Due to the nature of the procedure, numerous follow-up maintenance services are needed and result in return business and increased revenue for the practitioner. Again, every two to four weeks. Care should be taken throughout the procedure to avoid damage to the natural nail. All right, guys, that is it for Chapter 27. Thank you.